On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video. Watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps. We are going to revisit the knockings and clappings that took place in the Burger Gully community on the 30th of July, where two people end up losing them three pints. One, an eight-year-old identified as DJ Daz, and an adult male identified as 34-year-old Joel Lamanos, said to be a construction worker of Burger Gully. Now, I covered that story. This is the vlog presently on your screen. So if you have not watched that vlog as yet, please go over and watch it so you can get a better and a more comprehensive understanding as to this particular matter. Now, we are going to talk about the man with the police, them charge feet. Yeah, man. A real old dirty kind of boy within his own right. A real old knackis and clappis. Yeah, man. Now, the man with the police, them charge. His name is Kevin Smith, presently on your screen. But more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Talis or Gangster Nerd. Said to be of a Kingston to address. Now he was officially charged for the July 30 knockings and clappings. Now a brief rundown as to what happened. The police report suggests that just after 10 p.m. on Sunday, July 30, armed men pounced upon a group of people in the Burger Gully community, opened fire at them, and then flee the scene. So when the knockings and clappings subsided, Joel and the 80-year-old DJ and two other people were found suffering from what appears to be some can of wounds all over their bodies. All four persons were taken to the hospital where DJ passed and also Joel. Now, during the police probe into the knockings and clappings, two bodies of two men were found along Glendale Avenue in the Kingston 2 area on Monday, July 31st. Them two criminal elements there who the police them find along Glendale, was positively identified as 21-year-old Omario Lawrence, presently on your screen, and 19-year-old Kalim Campbell, otherwise called Kochi, said to be of the Homestead Road era in Vineyard Town. Now, they were later identified as accomplices in the Burger Gully knockings and clappings. And right after that, they charged the brother with them, Carl, Gangster nerd. Now the charges preferred against the criminal element known as Kevin Smith, aka Gangster Nerd or Talis in the street, is that of the double knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of eight year old DJ and the man known as Joel. Now two additional counts of knockings and clappings with intent was preferred against him on Friday, August 11th, following an identification parade. Kevin Smith is, however, scheduled to appear before the half a tree criminal gun court to answer to the charges preferred against him. So now, my peeps, and the spot news media get page bilious by one of the family members, a female relative of the now deceased Joel presently on your screen now the family members them vex rather disgruntled because of utterances made by on the spot news media that exposed their 
criminal family background and as to why the knockings and clappings go on. And I clearly stated in the vlog that covered that knockings and clappings that the only innocent person in that brutal onslaught is the eight-year-old youth, DJ Daz. Because at that age, him not really responsible for him actions. But the mother and the granny want to see a ball crocodile tears. Them not even say none at all. And also Joel. Joel probably lost his life innocently at that time. But by no means whatsoever is Joel an innocent man. Yeah man. So them vex because we expose them dirty family life and how they have been living in that particular space for years. And many persons in and around that community know of their family lineage and know what they represent and know for sure on that day when the eight-year-old lose him three pints, it's absolutely because of their doing why it happened. So before I play the vice clip with them page on the spot news media, Bilias, let me give you a quick rundown. On that day, when the knackis and clappis them circle him, the man them come circle him because for them family members, Fuss go circle the man them ends and the man them get wind of what happened and decide to come circle them back. So upon the approach of the criminal them will knock it and clap it upon them. Them see the man them stand up at the gate. But the man them did strap to. The man them retreat in at the yard and the man them just start pepper it upon them through the fence. And the man them in at the yard return fire. So I saw the eight-year-old end up get for lose him three pints and the other man known as Joel. So before the police them come, them pick up all of the special them and make it look like and play like they are the victims. Which indeed, they fell victim because two family members was lost. But they were not innocent by a long shot. So now let me play the vice clip for now. So you can hear what the crash might have to say to on the spot. Listen. Hello. You don't know nothing at all about my brother. You don't know social media chat. Pay like about my brother. Nothing at all you don't know about him. I'm sister. I chat to you. Because you, you disrespect the family. We don't need your sorry for. I tell you from now. We don't need your sorry for. We don't ball over our brother because our brother don't do nothing. You and your blood clad force I, 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 I look all over the place with my blood clad brother when him cause him not doing nothing. Him not have no murder case, him not have no criminal blood clad record. I don't know up and down I look for my brother. I don't know, we don't want none of back away yard again, you know. The force are you, you know. None of them, we don't want we don't want back away yard again, you know. My brother dead and we are crying and got about you know you know sorry for none of we we are bad. We don't need a sorry for. We don't want a sorry for. Yeah. Because we better go on home and him go on in a God's hand. Bumbo clap, if they pass social media to pay like about we better. Bumbo clap in it. Yeah, I just say it there. Just breeze the family them. Now I have nothing for chat about the family them. I find a good year to talk about. Because the whole way are God bless. And when no more dead too, we are going straight to God there. We are angel. Every minute they depend on the ear attack, one bag of crap about people, you know, know nothing about people. You, you, you tell them one bag of shit. One bag of shit, you tell them, and you never did there. Your colleagues, them never did there. I don't want you to chat nothing bad about my brother, them, now the family, them. We are God bless. Yeah. And that's side right there. Lord, we are alone. We could survive. We are survival. You go around and spread too much poker ground and life on people. Now we are alone, we're free for ball and roll up in the dirt. And we're going to stop roll up in the dirt for our brother because we love them. Yeah. You talk about this boy, you buy this whole heap of gun in a cent in here. You buy gun game. Now my brother alone make him survive. Now my peeps, you would have heard her made mention of her other brother known as Kojo. The one where I seek danship. 
And for those who remember this particular knockings and clappings vividly, would have also recalled that in my video, I asked for you to go over to the Jamaica Star on YouTube and listen to the interview of the mother of the deceased child and also the grandmother. And you can definitely hear for yourself and pick sense out of nonsense, especially from that of the older woman, the grandmother, what really is happening in that particular space. The grandmother clearly say a danship business are going and basically a fear son want to be the dan. So my peeps, them people are just continuously cover for the wrongdoings of their family members. And a lot of these females you see out there are to be held accountable for a lot of loss of lives out there in Jamaica society. A lot of these females encourage it and they continue to back their male relatives, whether it is their sons, their brothers, their cousins, whatsoever. But they are deeply rooted into a lot of the criminals and the criminal acts that is perpetrated against the members of Chan Public. So we are to be mindful of some of them type of female, yeah. Poor me, I tell my peeps. The thing rough. But anyway, my peeps, let me give you an update on what is happening over there in the community of Gregor Park in a Portmore St. Catherine where over the weekend, scores of adults and children lost their homes as they were burnt out by criminal elements who launched an attack on their community. That attack also left one man lifeless, no longer among the land of the living as he was taken out in a hail of bullets by the said criminal elements. He's presently on your screen, identified as Rum Punch. He was left laying lifeless on the side of the road. Now, I've covered a vlog that showed the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness, and members of his team, and also the Commissioner of Police and other High Command members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, that um, paid a visit basically to the community to assess the damages and just basically hear the cries of the people. Now, yesterday, more than 40 members of a joint police military operation team swooped down on the community of Gregor Park in Portmore St. Catherine, where they seized one illegal firearm and brought in custody a number of persons of interest for questioning. Now, on the spot, news media understands that 18 people to include two women were apprehended by the police yesterday, that's Wednesday, in relation to the deadly arson attack on Walker's Avenue in Gregor Park over the weekend. Now we are going to hear from Deputy Superintendent in charge of operations for the St. Catherine South Police, that is Earl Grant, as he weighs in on the operations that took place in that particular space yesterday. Listen. We are searching for the perpetrators of these crimes. The information led us to target some locations within the Gulf and the Mexico area where these men are located. We are gonna process those who we have picked up. We have not pinpointed the individuals. Some of them will face identification parade to verify if they are in fact involved and if they are attached to any criminal organizations, then we are going to look at that as well. The operations also is geared towards public safety to restore the rule of law, to bring back a sense of security and peace to this area, especially the Walkers Avenue area. People are frantic, they are panicking, they are fearful, and of such, they are experiencing their gratitude um, not being obvious, but not in their heads, giving the security forces thumbs up for carrying out these operations within the space. And especially the places that we have targeted, when person nod and give us that approval and that thumbs up, we know that we are definitely onto something. Now my peeps, the Member of Parliament for East Central St. Catherine, Alando Terrellang, is calling for a zones of special operations in sections of the Gregor Park community amid rising violence. So we're gonna hear from Alando Terrellang as he weighs in on the latest speed of violence in his constituents. Listen. You know, another 
solution to peace in the area is having a Zozo declared in the Gregory Park space. Portmore, when you look at what's happening in Portmore entirely, you know, the gangs in Portmore are operating with a sort of lawlessness and a sort of boldness. It requires a zone of special operation in Portmore so that they understand that the security forces are in charge and that the security forces will ensure that they do not have a space or any safe haven in Portmore. There's no community across all of Portmore, whether Bridgeport, Gregory Park, whether um, 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 South Borough, Passage Fort, Greater Portmore, Hellshire, there must be no safe haven for these criminals, for these terrorists to operate in Portmore. And I believe that a, a, a permanent post as well must be made along Cottage Drive, at the end of Cottage Drive, by the big tire, so that the police officers, so that they have direct eyes to see the movement of the gunmen across that Mexico Bangabali space as well, and, 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 and the Gulf Territory area. They have an agenda, and their agenda is to destabilize the Gregor Park community space. And it happens ever so often. I mean, I've been speaking about this since 2018, 2018, 2019, if you recall, before the 2020 general election. There was havoc in the Gregor Park space. It is now 2023, two years to a general election. And again, it's a sort of, it's a sort of systemic havoc in the space. But it, it must come to an end. It needs, you know, we need, and, and, and I'm not saying that we don't have, um, you know, innocent and hardworking Jamaicans living in that space. Of course we do. But because of how the community is structured, it is literally a labyrinth of dirt tracks and zinc and what we call choppy getaways. You know, and so what you find is that the area is impossible to police. It's impossible to police. So they use they, they use the dike road, you know, they use other areas leading into um Bangagoli as well for Coven to escape and they, they, they know how the traffic getaways. What we need is a formal community structure. All right, with proper houses, proper roads and other infrastructures in place so that the community can be policed. That is a long term solution to peace. But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.